The golden-headed cisticola, a kind of Australian warbler, collects fibres and spider's webs not just for lining, but for stitching. There is no more skilled tailor in the whole of the bird world. There's little problem about concealing this nest, for the leaves she stitches together remain alive and green. When she's finished, you would barely notice that they're bent together in a slightly unusual way. The problem is greater when a nest sits on the bare branches of a tree. The citella, an Australian equivalent of the nuthatch, constructs its nest from spider's webs and insect cocoons and then covers the outside with rather coarser material. Two pairs are building here, close to one another. This one is in a tree covered in lichen. And this in one that has flaky bark. The citellas are not rigidly minded birds with inflexible habits. They use lichen to cover the nest in the lichen tree, and bark on the one in the flaky bark tree. As a result, each is as well camouflaged as anyone could hope, and though both nests are plain for all to see, they're not easily recognised for what they are. The apostle bird uses mud mixed with grass. Nest building is a group activity. A pair with their grown up young from previous seasons work together. It used to be believed that there was always a dozen in the team, which is why they're called apostle birds. Everyone seems anxious to contribute, and the team works so industriously and so harmoniously that their elegant cup is usually completed in a mere three days. A bird's beak, it seems, can serve just as well as a plasterer's trowel as a tailor's needle.